young Helen Keller. Helen Keller could not hear or see, yet she helped many people in her amazing life. Helen was born in Alabama on June 27, 1880. She was a happy, healthy baby. But when she was almost two years old, Helen became very sick. In time, Helen got well, but her illness left her deaf and blind. Helen felt all alone in the dark and silent world. Because Helen could not hear, she also could not talk. She had no way to tell other people how she felt or what she thought. Helen did not know other people had feelings. She often hit or kicked other children. Once, Helen even pushed her baby sister Mildred out of her cradle. Helen's parents knew Helen needed help. They took her to see Dr. Alexander Graham Bell. Today, Dr. Bell is remembered for inventing the telephone. But when Helen's parents came to him, he was running a school to help people teach the deaf. Dr. Bell said there was a special way deaf people could talk by making signs with their fingers. He told the Kellers how to find a teacher to help Helen. When Helen was seven, a woman named Annie Sullivan came to live with the Kellers. She would change Helen's life. Annie knew what it was like not to be able to see. She had been nearly blind when she was a child. She had two operations to save some of her eyesight. Annie began teaching Helen right away. She gave Helen a doll. Then she spelled D-O-L-L -L in Helen's hand. Every day, Annie spelled words into Helen's hand. Helen learned quickly, but she did not know she was making words. She still could not talk to people. Annie and Helen had many fights. Annie wanted Helen to obey her, and Helen did not like this. Helen was used to doing what she wanted. Her parents felt sorry for her. They never punished her when she was bad. At mealtime, Helen ate with her fingers and grabbed other people's food. Annie made her use a fork and spoon and eat on her own food. Annie treated Helen just like any other child, and every day, Helen behaved a little better. One day, Annie took Helen out to the water pump. While the water poured over one of Helen's hands, Annie spelled W-A-T-E-R into the other. Suddenly, Helen understood what words were. Her life would never be the same. Now Helen could talk to people, and they could talk to her. Helen wanted to know everything she could about the world. Annie could not answer Helen's questions fast enough. Helen learned to read and write in Braille. In Braille, words are printed in raised dots that blind people can feel or read with their fingers. She also learned to lip read by touching people's faces. And when she was a teenager, Helen even learned to speak. When Helen was 20, she did something that many people thought was impossible. She went to college. Annie went with her to help her study. Helen spent her life helping blind and deaf people. She gave speeches and wrote many books. Helen Keller died on June 1, 1968, but people all over the world still remember her courageous, helpful life.